Hi there, I'm in the software manager of my Linux Mint 14 operating system and I looked up an application called Evolution. Evolution is an email client that's free for Linux and it is one of the alternative Linux email clients to Thunderbird, which is the more popular one or one of the more popular ones that come installed with this Linux Mint 14 desktop. The reason why I'm showing you Evolution is because Evolution is distributed by Novell and for some of you that are familiar with networking, Novell was one of the major vendors in providing NetWare, a competitor to Microsoft NT's networking product. and. Uh, I want to go through and discuss some of the features within Evolution. So I will close out of here. You can see I already have it installed so it's very easy for you to install. Just uh, click on the install button where I have the remove and then you should have it installed pretty easily on your Linux Mint desktop. So let's go to menu, go to office, go to evolution, I'm just going to show you briefly how to set up evolution and how to create a signature. So on this wizard, it tells you to go through the ne uh, next couple screens to connect the email account. And let's click on continue. If you want to set up a backup, you can do that. But I don't have a backup file, so I'm just going to click on continue. And I'm going to use an existing email address I have and it's one of my Yahoo accounts. So I'm going to click on continue after I fill that in. And the nice thing about using Yahoo is that all the server information is filled in here for the receiving and sending information. For other not so well known email clients you probably will have to fill in this information here and you can see that by default it checks off add the Yahoo calendar and tasks to this account so you can integrate that as well so let's click on continue now it tells me the mail configuration is complete and I'm ready to receive and send emails so I'm going to click on apply now I'm going to enter in my Yahoo password and then I'm going to click on the continue button and you can see that it added a folder to the already existing one on here on the left hand pane that said on this computer it had its own inbox and that's empty but now it added another account the one that I just filled in and I have the indicator showing that I have 13 mail and so I am going to take a look at some of the mail I have here 
um, you can see how this is set up it has the three column view where it has the email folders on the far left and then the actual messages in the middle and then a preview of the message on the right hand side I can change that view if I wanted to a different one so I'll change the preview view to classic view and then it becomes more like a classic email view where you don't have the preview and you have more information just to see or more fields to see and filter your email on and let's go ahead and set up a signature because that's one of the things you're probably going to set up if you're trying to use this for your business so let's click on my user account or rather my email user account and then I'm going to right click and click on properties and you see at the bottom of the window it says add new signature and for the signature by default it's showing none I created one already so I'm not going to select that but I'll create a new one so let's add new signature I'm going to call this one test signature and I'm going to type in my name my company and I'm going to also add a link for my website So if I close out of there, I get the information here and I can tweak what it looks like by highlighting the appropriate text and adjusting them accordingly. Say I want to make that line for my company blue and I also want to make it two times larger. I can do that as well and then I want to make it bold. So there I have it. And if I want to save it like that, I'll just go File, Save, and Close. So now I'll have two signatures. Now I can make that, make one of these signatures my default signature. Let's say I made the test signature my default signature. So I'll click on OK. So if I go through my email and I pick email that I want to go through say I want to respond to this organization I'm going to click on reply by clicking on one of the envelope buttons and then it it's prompting me do I want to close the message window I'll say yes and I'll see on the from field that it also has my test signature as the default one I can change it to any one of the possible signatures in the drop down and if I scroll down to the message I should see my my actual test signature it's in plain text if I want it to be in the text that I saw it in before or actually the format that I saw it in before I'll change it to HTML and this is what it looks like so now I should be able to finish sending a message Okay, so if I if I click 
click on File, Save as a Draft, I'll have it ready to send. So let me close out of here by clicking on the upper right hand corner and I'll notice that I do have a draft on my folder on this computer. And here it is. And let's say I want to actually take a look at the preview mode. So let's go to view, preview, and vertical view. You'll see the preview view. So without actually going into and clicking the message, I can view the entire message that I'm getting ready to send. And it even has my signature. So that concludes this tutorial on the first part of using Evolution. Hope it helps you.